What's that, Dad? It's the knife. What's the knife? We're going to find out because I am super excited. Santa came a little early. Okay, so this is like Excalibur. Okay, so <clears throat> this is an unboxing. This, this blacksmith's name is Tanaka. Okay, this is a blue number one. Blue is a type of steel. Okay, so it doesn't, it's not the color on everything. So I'm literally unboxing it in front of you and all of my guests who are on camera today. And we're seeing what they did. So they obviously put a little extra. Will you put this behind you on the counter? And we have like this amazing surprise. You put that behind you on the counter. <clears throat> All right, Lucy. So they took care of it. Let's see what we got. It's kind of exciting. Oh, there's a letter. So let's, uh, let's show this to the audience. So we got a letter written to us, and I'm going to read it out to you. <clears throat> so it's from Strata, which is who we got to send it to. So this is Hirohito Tanaka um, times Yohi. So Yohi is, or Yohei, I might be pronouncing it wrong. I don't always have it right. But um, that would be the sharpener, the person who sharpened it. Mm -hmm. And this is a blue number one, which means it's a type of steel, okay? okay? And for those who are watching, if you don't know what that means, blue number one, blue is the paper that they wrap the steel around when it leaves the factory. Number one has to do with the carbon content. Um, when you start looking at blue uh, paper and white paper, there are some differences. That's a different video. But um, this is a 270 millimeter Gyoto, which is a chef's knife, okay? And it says it has a cherry handle. So to let you guys know, it says, thank you for your purchase. I hope you were doing well. All is going on in the world. Let's see. You have amazing taste. Santa knows my style, okay? So this is Tanaka Blue is my favorite Smith and Steel combo. I believe he is the best in the world with it. I am sure you will see why. Being carbon, make sure you do not... Like put it in a dishwasher, make sure you hand wash it and dry it to prevent rusting. Um, avoid cutting frozen food, if you guys don't know that by now, but avoid cutting frozen food, shellfish, and etc. And then uh, if you have any questions, give them a call. It says have fun and stay safe. So uh, we'll save that for keeping. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I almost need like a drum roll or something, you know. So the box is pretty cool, pretty, pretty flowers. Mm -hmm. I look at your face. You're like, just like me. Oh my gosh. Look at the polish on that. Look at the Kasumi finish in here and how they made it so that the edge of the blade is a mirror. That's wow. I'm like, am I ever gonna actually cut something in with this? I don't even know. Look at the spine and just how it tapers down at the, the front. Let's get in here and see the spacing. It's so tight. There's no space for any food to get down and cause any type of rusting. The handle is thinner than I'm used to, but I like it. So, wow. Wow. So, this was shipped, out, so it's out of the box, Lucy, is what we refer to as out of the box, mm -hmm. which means, you know, it can get like messed up a little bit in shipping. So we're going to do a couple of things real quick to just see, I mean, phew, that's an amazing knife. 
What do you think, Lucy? You've never seen anything like that? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do an out-of-the-box cut test. Let's get some power here. And so let's turn the light on for the crowd. So I'm going to stand where you are, Lucy. Mm -hmm. Now, a good knife by good blacksmith should just come around 200. Anything better is awesome. But I mean, we're just looking, we can always make it sharper. Okay. So we're going to put this on the fulcrum. I'm caught a little bit. There you go. Let me adjust my microphone. <clears throat> so we're going to make sure it's on zero. The knife is ready. And then we are going to press and see what we get. So Lucy, come look at the score and tell, tell me, is that below 200? Yes. Is it a lot below 200? Yes. So that's a good thing. So all you guys watching right now, we just got a score of 120. That's pretty incredible out of the box. Um, so let's just give a little listen to the paper and see. It's not going to survive, obviously, but let's just see the, hear the beauty of it. You know, knives are really sharp when you can't even, like, hear it. Go to the heel. Oh. Let's go to the top. Like, every part of it. I love your face right now. That's awesome. So let's do a little, like, so we're going to fold it in half, but we're not going to crease it. And it should just bite. So we'll, we'll do that one again over here. So again, one of the sharp test guys is to bend the paper, don't crease it, and it should just, just come right off. I can't believe I'm getting ready to cut food with this. I'm actually not excited about putting any moisture on this blade. Um, Yeah, just I'm laying the knife on and letting gravity, like literally letting gravity push. If you guys can see how ridiculously thin this apple is. And our dogs are letting us know that we're not safe, but I got the knife. So thank you, Oliver. Thank you. That was another human moment. We appreciate our dogs keeping us safe. I am going to not let this moisture sit on this blade and ruin my gorgeous knife. I want to thank my daughter for being in the video for the first time and getting used to the camera. I want to thank my son who's behind the camera today. I'm glad to have him with me. Appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully everyone gets everything that they deserve for Christmas. You know who you are. And I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for always coming into our world each week. Friday nights is when we try to get a video out. And we're always hoping you have a never dull moment. God bless. Like what the heck? in here what they gave me enough what that's cool that's a plus
I don't even know what's in here. How do you open this? There you got it. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Cool. That's a gift. Very nice. Okay. So let's get into the real deal. Beautifully wrapped. Wow. I hate to even mess it up. Oh, we love these boxes. That is Tanaka. Just so clean. So, for those of you who don't know, this is my first um, Karitsuke. I do have Bunkas, I do not have Karitsuke. This is um, Tanaka, Hirohito Tanaka. Balloon number one, um, 240 millimeter. Wow. So, that is to go along with the Tanaka. Let me share that with you right now. <sighs> Gorgeous. 270 millimeter. This is 240. Wow, with the Shinogi line. Amazing. The Kasumi finish inside. One with the Shinogi line, one without. Incredible. So, we've got the tester. We're going to do a quick out of the box. Let me get it correct here. So we got 195, um, which is below 200. This one came in at like 120. It's crazy sharp. Um, super happy, obviously, to add this to the collection. Let's just give a listen. I mean, that was like nothing. It's got some weight. It's got like, it's got, it's thin though. Like, look at how, like, it's actually very thin on the spine, super clean. The taper on the tip is incredible. Wow. Okay, so there you go. This is a uh, blue number one, Kuritsuke 240 millimeter, Hirohita Tanaka. Glad to add it, my first Kuritsuke. Thanks for joining us.